2nd of June, another month is going to disappear in the next couple of days. Uh, to adjust the mirror, I want to get back to the, uh, down to the bottom, adjust it properly, and I got on. That's no matter. About uh, between 3:30 p.m. and uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So between 15:30 and uh, uh, 16 hours, no, 15 hours and 30 minutes, and uh, 16 hours into the day. So that's where we are currently. as it is is part of uh, the no sleep uh, routine or a much truncated sleep I'm only sleeping in four hours worth this is uh, uh, one of the vlogs I watch uh, Carly Reese off the uh, uh, our family nest uh, path uh, She's the daughter of the, our family nest. She's in the, in the uh, our family nest videos quite frequently. But she's been going through a bit. But the thing is, at the same time, she hasn't been sleeping. And of course, what happens when you don't sleep? It affects your mental uh, your mental state. And this is what she's going through. Uh, she's going through, if you will, a midlife crisis because she's already got a career, and she's more or less starting out uh, in life. As a young person, she's about 16. But she's been on YouTube since she's about 10 years old. I mean, six years old. So she's known YouTube for the entire life. And, you know, when most people are thinking about making a career for themselves, they're sort of starting off. She's uh, at that midpoint where she's going to change her career, maybe, but doesn't know in which direction to go to. And so this is a, 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 a something that none of her friends are experiencing. Uh, you experience it if, if, you, if you're a contractor, in other words, you do a lot of freelance work, then you know what, what she's talking about because uh, there is no stability in uh, freelance or contract or you know, being an independent researcher. There's no, there's no stability. And so it's hard to plan for things. But you don't necessarily know what's coming around the corner. And it comes it becomes a bit of an issue. So she's going through that now, is watching her vlog. And she has a hard time sort of uh, moving forward on her own. But again, she's 16. And the thing is, uh, I have a hard time when I'm in between projects. And I don't know where, what the next direction, what the next direction is. Like it took me the last two months to 
I heard a few from uh, Abu Taqa last month all about not knowing where I am in terms of the research and not knowing the direction, what, what direction is next. Well, I have now the next direction uh, over the last couple of weeks uh, has kind of formed on its own. And uh, so it's time to move forward. Although I'm not going to get off right up and start working off right away, start walking right away. I'm going to do a slow retreat from the, uh, from the rest point that I'm at. Drivers, what's a stop sign? Uh, is that something I just go right through? <laughs> I guess some people stopping is a rather difficult thing. It's gotten cold again. Uh. And I can see it in the observatory why it's gotten cold. Got a truck beside me. To get to the signal, I have to move my hand over too far to the left uh, to get to the signal uh, portion of the, of, of, the, uh, of the controls. But, anyways, neither here nor there. I'll eventually get the hang of it. It's only been a couple of days. It took me about a week to really get used to, uh, well, it took me more than a year to get used to it. Uh, being on a scooter. If I can do it on a daily basis. And then it's just for three months that I've been doing scooting on a daily basis. So.
about 11 o'clock on uh, June 22nd, leaving my parents' house. Oh. I had a conversation, but I not exactly in mind as of yet. chance to think about what I want to say. There's also how you want to say things as well. I think the last time I picked off was the whole issue of, uh, of anarchy. And it evolved from hedonism. advertised as love, but it's not necessarily love itself. It's, as I say, it's the, the sales pitch, or the rhetoric, that's what rhetoric is, the sales pitch, uh, is often difficult to pick out because it sounds very sincere. And these are particularly good salesmen, and the goal is to, they're from the left-hand path, and the left-hand path of the goal is to, to sort of uh, create new definitions, to shift opinions from one thing to another. And you do that by portraying things as good or bad or uh, or non-consequential, or that you don't know there are no consequences if you do this. No one's going to get hurt, or it's a victimless victimless crime, and so on and so forth. But the thing is, this is far from the truth, because in many cases, victimhood and, and, and the consequences of a particular sinister act aren't always obvious. So when I have to ask a question, when someone is advertising something, when does it become sinister? When does it become an act no longer defined as something good? Hello! Ugh. Learning how to work my turn signals. <laughs> I said before, I had to wash the plates on my hands for the accelerator and now also for the turn signals. The two are not necessarily compatible, but there's a point in the middle where both will be satisfied. Things don't come automatically to me. It takes time, it takes examination, re-examination in order for something that uh, 
making cases some people find obvious uh, uh, it takes me a while but then again I, but then again, I also notice things that other people don't notice I have an awareness that other people don't necessarily have and I think this sort of comes with the territory If you set out in your life to do something that's average, you'll find it boring. And this is... Uh, when you explore the personalities behind the history... And this is what Lion LeBron is for. He is a way of getting at the, in, the person, or at least one type of personality, behind the intellectuals. And I think it's one will see commonalities as you explore other content, uh, other intellectuals within history, within the various texts like uh, like uh, uh, from Jane Austen and so on and so forth, uh, Agatha Christie comes to mind. You will find a large chunk of the pretense, the the, the behavior, to be uh, similar, even if, if not in some cases the same. The thing is, unless you've gone through enough, unless you've gone through enough material and have enough experience, and just sort of staying as an as an observer, not necessarily commenting on things, you begin to understand this. And but but walking the path, uh, you know, between your different points of of success, is a difficult thing because you don't you don't know you don't necessarily understand where you're going. There isn't an obvious point uh, that you're going to achieve. Uh, in many cases, your points of achievement are something that occur within hindsight. It, it is not a foresight. It's not something that you can predict. And this is the thing that uh, intellectuals have a problem with, is that they're particularly focused on prediction. And the prediction comes within their own sense of intellect. I mean, this is what all the mystery books, Sherlock Holmes, Harry Cooper, Miss Marple, all of your mysteries are all based on logic. And this is about humanism, human logic. Ironically, this is about the Da Vinci Code, not the what the people assume it to be in terms of the conspiracy theory, but the reality of the Da Vinci Code which was based on the work by Fibonacci and carried forward by Da Vinci. This was about prediction of the natural universe. This was what we call Gnosis, the wisdom of knowledge, that you had the foreknowledge to predict what was going to occur next, that this was something within the human mind. When that fails, this is what produces the tribalism that we're seeing today. These are the nihilists. The nihilists come from the passionless, or the straightforward, the boring, the pragmatic, realist, and creates the surrealist. And these are all terms you can find as you study the philosophy, the history of philosophy. And I'm not talking about something you find in a textbook. Because textbook history, even on TV and in both the intellectual path, is not necessarily reality. A large chunk of official history is fabricated. And there's a lot more to it than is actually uh, sort of published or admitted to. In other words, the museum findings are nice, the museum chips are nice, but it doesn't portray reality. What it does is it portrays a narrative based on the views and opinions of the curator who takes upon the standard knowledge, the true knowledge of that time and period. And this is it's, it's what LeBron of My Own Nation calls a, a work. This is what he's calling John Stewart up here. And he's a work. He's fiction. And he's right about that. This is the thing is that 
Lionel, although he's an intellectual, there's a lot of stuff that he's actually right about. It's just the way he presents it, so people will toss it off and not necessarily, not necessarily speak about what he's actually saying, or how it reflects on the changes that are going on within society. Most of the people who consider themselves to be woke are not actually woke. Most of the people who are out who consider themselves to be, to be red pill are actually indeed red pill. They're simply within another matrix or within another being. They're woken from one dream into the next. They've emerged from one matrix into another. They haven't escaped. But they don't realize this. They don't see that they're still within another matrix. They think the sucker that they've been extricated from the matrix. And that they're in the final points. But this isn't this isn't the case. This isn't the reality. better at the turn spindles. <laughs> amongst, amongst the heavy conversation comes the mundane. mundane. Conquering and mastering the turn signal. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> well, this is going 50 kilometers an hour on a scooter. Maintaining the balance, maintaining uh, your control of the scooter. Slight shifts and slight movements in the wrong way, way in the wrong direction will cause a uh, disaster. And as I said, being thrown at 40 kilometers an hour, it doesn't matter how much padding I have on me, it's going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> 